presenting your boy, Jay Mello. What is up, guys? It's your boy, Jay Mello. My name is Jay Nelly, J N E L L Y. I'm about to come and swat at you like you are a little fly. In a hostile environment, you tip in the shot. My limits are so high, gonna reach for the sky. Yo, Jay Nell, don't be back here again. Off with the sin, and you know I got that money. But I ain't chasing the bag. Bible with my lap, I got heaven on the map. What is up guys, it is your boy Jay Nelly, and as you see by the title, today I am putting you on Christian Rappers. Now, as you guys know, I am a man of God, so I am very selective in the music that I listen to. And even the gospel music and Christian music I listen to, I still have to vet that out too. If you're someone who's just looking for some clean music, or if you're a brother and sister in Christ who needs some nice little raps, nice little beats in your playlist, well, this is the video for you. Now, I'm judging these songs based off of two things. One, production, and two, how biblically sound it is. Because what's important to me when I'm betting on a song is to see if I'm saying something is in aligning with the word of God. So, these guys got some pretty good songs. I'm gonna show you 12 songs from four different artists. I'm gonna rank them from one to 12. Are you guys ready? Let's get it. Okay, let's get started. So again, two factors, one production and two biblical sounds. All right, so basically I rated every single song from one to 10 on those two things. Then I got the final numbers um, to figure out like who was in the top ranks. And then if you had like a tie in numbers, then I would just choose whatever song I like the best. So let's get started with song number one. Okay, so just a disclaimer, Literally every single song in this list is a good song. So like, this is no hate. Literally, this may seem like criticism. I have no criticism. All these songs go hard. If any of y'all artists are watching this, I'm just gonna let you know now that your music is great. But um, we're gonna go ahead and start off with the first one being Don Tarius, Straight From The Heart. No, that I'm young, but I'm sounding older. Hearing demons and I smell the odor. I got Jesus, I can't let him go. I'm bleeding the blood from head to toe. No, that I stumble at times. Now, what I chose for Don Tari straight from the heart, as far as his production for this song, I gave it a seven. I'm not sure if that's backwards, but if it is, oh well. And as far as the biblical soundness, I gave it an eight because the song is very biblically sound. Um, I don't know, really the only reason I gave it an eight is because he has so many other good songs. So yeah, that was my first song that I chose at number 12, Dontarius, Straight From The Heart. Okay, for my next song up at number 11, I have Jordan WWCM, Exposing Evil. Uh, first of all, I give glory all to Jesus Christ. The only way you can be saved, so yeah, let's get it right. Since he gave us some eternal life And for his production of this song I give it a 6 Just because just compared to all the other songs It is a little bit lower but it's still a great song Because as far as his biblical soundness I give it a 9 bro Because he straight up was like For real exposed to some real stuff Like that song was great um, The beat goes crazy I mean yeah that's all we have to say about His song Exposing evil Um it was probably one of the first songs on SoundCloud, like when I started listening to Christian SoundCloud rappers that I heard. And yeah, it was great. So um, number 11 spot, Jordan WWCM, Exposing Evil. All right, so for the number 10 spot, again, coming in, Jordan WWCM, God, I need you every day. God, I need you every day of my life. Made some mistakes, I'm just trying to get it right. As far as his production for this song, I give it a seven. And again, as far as the biblical soundness, I give this mug a nine. Like literally, if you ever sing this song, like you're literally praising the Lord. It's a great song. And that's why it comes in at a number 10 spot. And that's why it's even on this list. Because again, this list is full of songs that are good. Next one. All right, coming in at the number nine spot, we got Caleb Gordon with his song, Accountable. One thing I'm learning about life, 
Everything come with a price. Ay, that's why I'm taking a chance. Ay, that's why I'm rolling the dice. Gotta be different. You only acting holy in the pews. That's why they look at us and be production. He gets a 10 out of 10 because most of his songs have very great production. I mean, he doesn't necessarily miss on production. But the reason it's a little bit lower is because number six, biblical soundness. Now, there's not any unsound doctrine in here, but with me, when I'm listening to songs, I like it to be like mainly just like almost everything is about God. And you know, there's certain empty spaces where it's just talking about just random stuff. And that's just my, me personally. I'm not saying that it's not biblically sound. In this song, you ain't spreading no false doctrine. I like the full song to be talking about God, but his production is 10 out of 10. The song is amazing. But yes, that is number nine. So let's head on to the next song. All right, coming in. At the number eight spot, we got Caleb Gordon again with his song, No Limit. I don't got no limit, feel like Master P. You're the enemy, Kenny, had half me. And for the production, I give it an eight because, um, I mean, this is just me. Like when I listen to my car, sometimes it'll be like crazy loud and it'll be like something. But I mean, the production is still great. Eight's not a bad number. And then as far as biblical soundness, I give it an eight. And again, the only reason I'm giving him an eight as far as biblical soundness for this is because he has other songs on this list that's still going to be higher on the list and they're so great. So that's my reason behind that. That is the number eight spot. Moving on to the next one. All right. For the number seven spot, we have Don Tarius with I Give You Me, Oh Lord. Oh, 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 I give you me. Now, what I have for him, hold on, let me check it again, let me check it again. Okay, yes, yes, yes. His production on this song was a nine. 100% was a nine. It was great. I just can't give it a 10 because he has some songs high on this list. And as far as biblical soundness, an eight. Again, reason behind that, he has more songs that are higher up on this list. So, let's hit the next spot, bro. Let's go. All right, for the number six spot, I have Repent by Don Tarvis. Turn away from your sinful ways. Jesus is salvation and he is the only way. Know that I got a few problems, he gon' solve them anyway. Never gon' get up off me, ain't got time to play these games. As far as production for this song, I give that mug an eight. And as far as biblical soundness, I give that mug a nine. The song was overall great, and it's one of my favorite songs. Now, moving on to the top five, bro. Okay, coming in at number five, this song actually is my outro song, and it is Clear Vision by Don Tarr. I'm just saying, might as well be thankful. God woke me up, so you know I ain't complaining. As far as production, you already know that mug is getting a 10 out of 10 because that production was amazing. I remember the first time I heard this song in my car, I was like, yo, this mug, it goes hard. And as far as biblical soundness, I give it a seven. The only reason I give it a seven is there's just something things like, it's not even that it's not biblically sound. Like as far as what I can understand when he's rapping, it's all biblically sound. It's just like, there's just certain things I just can't understand. The song's not, there's no falsities in the song, but it's still in the top five. So that means that mug is an amazing song, period, bro. All right, let's get on to the next one. All right, it's coming in at number four. We got Caleb Gordon again with Two Steppin' in the spirit spirit eating good and the flesh getting anorexic god got big plans i ain't even been to text ball like i switch hands you don't know where i'm headed i don't do the back and forth now nah, we ain't playing tennis rebound jump back i feel like dennis sin try to hold me down no i won't let it devil try to talking loud like he don't see the exit read the word and walk it out it got my spirit two stepping in production you already know bro that's a 10 because that boy caleb be producing his songs. That mug is great. And Biblical Thomas, 7.5. Um, just kind of same reason other things. Um, actually, I mean, pretty much throughout the song, it is talking about the Lord. Obviously, there's just like very, very memorable empty spaces. But I mean, this mug's in the top four for a reason. Like, this song is really, really good. That's my reason for that. Next song. 
Okay, coming in at number three, you have You Are Great by Jordan WWCM. Jesus, you are great. The trials test my faith. But you're the risen. You're the king that will never change. Worthy is the lamb who won the cross of slain. As far as production, that mug is eight. Because that production is great. And as far as biblical soundness, that mug is 100% a 10. You are straight up praising the Lord throughout this whole song. And I commend you for that, bro. Like, straight up. Jesus, you are great. The trials hit my face. But you just risen. You're just... Sorry, man. I forgot the list. My fault. If I had it in the car, I promise you I know it. So great. Next one. All right, bro. Coming in at number two. It is different by M.O.G. Kwan. Jesus snatched me out the world, so I gotta make a difference. Ain't trying to go back to the world, cause Jesus coming in a minute. He been molded, he been shaping me into his image. Jesus said the captain free, his power is not limited. So I just spread the gospel and just pray that you be listening. Now, as far as production, you know, I'm looking at eight. Because it's great production. And as far as lyrics, bro, that mug is a 10, because literally, you can like, tell this dude's story in the whole song like bro i'm telling you when i listen to this song like i feel this man's story i feel how he came up with his relationship with the lord like jesus snatched me out the world so gotta make a difference ain't trying to go back to the world because jesus coming to the men yo that mud goes hard so brother i commend you for that and you know i'm glad for you brother that you came up out the world he snatched you out the world and you know continue walking with christ bro Amen, brother. Next song. I actually probably just said brother in that sequence like 90 times. So you gotta forgive me for that. Back to the video. Coming in at number one. <laughs> Glory to God by Don Tarius. Yeah, Lord, I give you all the praise. It could've been locked in that cage Lost to thank you cause you made a way Don't gotta risk my life to make a play Yeah, glory to God I'm saved Bro, I don't know why this song just hits me so different But like, I'm telling you This song, this song, <laughs> this song is nice, bro For the production, we give that mug a 9 As far as lyrical content, we give that mug a 10, bro Like, straight up, this song gives me my feels I know I'm praising the Lord, and man, Don Tari, you did a great job with this song. I really don't have much else to say other than the song is amazing. Like, there's no words for it, bro. Okay? So, that is the final Christian rapper song, SoundCloud Christian rapper song, that I'm going to put you on for today. I'm going to have all four of these guys, SoundCloud channels, in the description so you can check them out. So again, if you want some good Christian music, if you want to clean up what you're listening to, then check these guys out, man. Because you guys are very good at producing music, making music, and edify your soul, bro. Anyway, that's it for today for Jay Nelly. It's been a blessing being with y'all, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I just hit the sand, might as well be thankful Got woke me up, so you know I ain't complaining 